So I want to talk to you about um, strength training and activities and running and all those kind of things. You need to be aware that if you are a, for example, a bodybuilder and you're very strong and you're, you're cut and you've got a good physique, that does not make you a very good runner or a very good cyclist or a very good swimmer. Definitely doesn't make you a very good swimmer because you'll sink. Um, so there is such a thing as a specific way for, of training for a specific um, sport or activity. So if you are a bodybuilder, again, you are good, very good and very strong and very good for bodybuilding. You may not be very good at, at Olympic lifting because you are you haven't got the same kind of strength uh, physiology as functional uh, Olympic lifters. You might not be very good at running because your body isn't loaded for running. You don't do unilateral bounding and, and impacting repetitively. You, but you do do long hours in the gym lifting weights, but in a very static way, not in a dynamic way like you, 